Surprise, surprise. Hello, hello. So I am going to go ahead and get started. I will say hi to everybody as you hop on. Hi, Jessica. <laughs> you win. You were the first one on. <laughs> How are you? I know you guys didn't expect this. Oh, I said I thought I was going to try to go live today. Um, so, yes. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Amanda. How are you guys doing? <laughs> well, I just uh, did a video. I just did a YouTube video for showing the Fashion Fix sets so you can see them here. Um, I put them on here after I showed them. Oh, my gosh. These sets, whoa, these sets, look at this. They're so amazing. Hi, Susan. These, this is my favorite set. Oh, wow. I tell you, when you do stuff on the laptop, it's so different than the phone. You have to go opposite. So that's why I look crazy trying to show you guys this stuff. This set is my favorite. And this set here is my second favorite. <laughs> Um, but they are all amazing. And then there's these sets as well. So beautiful. So I just did a YouTube video, which I'm going to have to edit because my kids were acting crazy while I was trying to do it. They were like right outside my bedroom window on the patio playing and yeah. So now I got to edit the video cause I'm like yelling at them while I'm doing the video. <laughs> oh my goodness. So who all on here has Fashion Fix and has these beautiful sets? <laughs> Mine also. Oh, that's your, your favorite too, Tammy? <laughs> yeah. And the, oh my gosh, the extras, like the exclusives and the hostess rewards are amazing. Look at this. This is one of the um, hostess rewards. We got that. Um, what else? This was an exclusive. Like what? I mean, oh my gosh. This. Oh, and I have one more to show you after this one. This was an exclusive. <laughs> I don't know if I'm selling any of this, you guys. <laughs> These. Ah, uh, beautiful. Wait, I can't, I don't, I can't do it. I'm telling you, do any of you guys go live with your laptop? Like it is so hard because everything is backwards. Love those. So yeah. Um, anyways, I wanted to come on, answer if any of you have any questions, just connect and say hi. Trying to do this on Sundays whenever I can, which I can tell you right now, it's not going to be every Sunday, but I will do it as much as I can. Last Sunday, we had our comedy show. Did you see I posted in our um, on our team page my setup from the comedy show, and um, I made over $600 for the weekend just on my, tape, my bling table, um, so that was amazing, and um, I think I even put some video clips from the show in, the, that, in that post, so click through and look if you're interested in, in any of that, that we, we do, um, also, but that definitely I'm, I'm tired <laughs> from that. So this weekend has just been like rest and recuperate for me. So, um, if you're commenting, okay, I can see, I was like, I can't see your comments, but I see them now. I feel you right, Jessica. All right, so let me go ahead and um, I'm going to go through this with you guys too and let me know if you are having any issues, questions that you need answered or just need anything with your um, business. Sabrina, if you catch the replay, because I don't see you on right now, I'm hoping. Sabrina went to our awesome leadership training, which I was supposed to go to. Angela did it. It's like right here near me. It's only about a 35 minute drive away from where I live. Um, but I just couldn't do it with everything I had going on last weekend. And then my work this weekend was it, every week, my work, not weekend during the week, my week, work was 
a lot. So I just needed, I knew my body just needed to get some rest this weekend. So I couldn't go, but Sabrina went. So I would love for her to go live and share with you guys how that was and what she learned. And um, I was really excited to see her pictures with like Tara and Angela. I was sad. I was like, dang it, I should have went. But I'm, I'm glad I didn't go just from a standpoint of I really needed some rest. And I know next week for work is going to be horrendous all over again. So um, I knew I needed that. But I was sad because I was like, dang, like I, they're just like 35 minutes away. <laughs> Hi, Carla. Hi, Jalisa. Yeah, I said it right. Okay. Um, so <laughs> hi, you guys. Thank you for joining. So I'm going to ask Sabrina about doing that. Um, and then also there was something I wanted to tell Sabrina. Oh, Sabrina, I posted a event. You were talking about wanting to do more vendor events in Tampa and I posted some links. So I think you saw those. So let me know if you end up doing any of those. If anybody else wants me to do a search for you for vendor events in your area, just let me know. I mean, really, you just search on Facebook for vendor events in whatever city. Um, that's what I did. But I mean, I'm happy to do that if anybody else needs help with that. So let me know. Um, I think vendor events is great, you know, as far as making sure you got to make sure it's a good one that has like an, enough people. Like I knew our comedy shows, we would have a good um, 400 people at each show. So um it was, I knew it would be good. And I mean, it's church women. I knew they would love jewelry. <laughs> so just make sure it's a good crowd and the right crowd. But I mean, they are, you can make a lot of great money for that. And I did a bunch of pegboards just to make it easier. So I had them all preloaded. I wrapped them in saran wrap, which I think I'm going to do bubble wrap next time because the saran wrap is a little bit of a headache. Um, but, you know, I just wrapped them. And then when I got there, I just had to unwrap them and stick them up on the wardrobe racks and put a little bit of stuff on the table and I was good to go, which is good because I was busy, you know, producing the comedy shows. <laughs> so um, let's see, how many PV do you need to get Life of the Party? I have almost 2,200 and can you explain Life of the Party? Wow, that's awesome. Yes, I will add you, I'll tag you for that, Jessica. And I don't know, do you, if you're in the app, if you have the app on your phone, um, I'm just going to pull it up right now. Let me go, because I think there's some info in here. As a matter of fact, I know there is. So I'm going to show you that, if I can get in. Mine's been acting really funky. When you go in, I'm not going to hold us, hold us up, but I'm going to just kind of explain it. So when you go into your app on your phone, the paparazzi app, and I think this is for everyone. I do have the premiere app or whatever it's called, but I think this is for everyone. But when you go in, if you click on home and you go to your main home screen, um, oh, it might be going now, let's see. Um, I think it's like your dashboard and right by your picture, there's like different, like kind of your stats and you can click it and it'll tell you life of the party, where you're at and it'll kind of explain what it is. Um, no, mine is not. Hold on, let me try. Let me see if I can switch it on my phone here. Let me try to go to my other internet. I mean, my other Wi-Fi internet and see if it works. And if not, maybe I'll disconnect from Wi-Fi altogether and see if that works. Um, It may be just the app because it's going very slow. All right, let me just pull it up for you. Um, but you're doing very good. That's awesome that you're at 2200. You go, girl. I haven't, I don't know where I'm at. I need to check and see. All right, so. Life of the party. Here we go. All right. So for life of the party, because I don't know all this off the top of my head, um, there's bronze, silver, and gold access. For bronze, um, you need 5,000 PV, and it's during the year. So it would be from July 1st through June 30th of the following year. You need to hit that PV. So it starts over every year during that period. 
and um, with the bronze, you have to have 5,000 PV. So you're you're definitely close. You'll you'll probably hit it um, if you think about it. If you maybe up your your jewelry purchases just a little bit, because if you hit basically what would it be July till December is half the year, and then January to June is the other half of the year. So I would say if you hit by January, half of that then you're on track to hit it by the end, you know, in, in time. But if you don't hit that half mark by January, then you're probably going to need to buy a little bit more, you know, aggressively to hit it, if that makes sense. Um, but you get a certificate if you hit Life of the Party. Um, you get 25 pieces of convention inventory. You get a Life of the Party branded bag. Um, and you also get, this is all bronze, and I'll tag you in it. You get some other things, too. And then silver, and then there's gold, and then there's diamond, or no, platinum. So I'll tag you in that rather than going through. Oh, and then there is diamond after that. The diamond is the highest, I think. And that one is 35,000 PV. <laughs> I know we have some people who have already hit, Car or Colleen hit, and Paula hit already, I know. If anyone else hits, let me know because it's hard for me to keep up with that, you know, uh, for everyone. Um, so that's something, you know, as you're looking and keeping track yourself or if you're notified that you hit, please let me know. I would love to know so I can do a big post about it. But um, that's what that is. And I'll send you more information about that, Jessica. And then Susan, I have been trying to find some I look every day and I'm always too late there's always a paparazzi consultant already okay yeah that can be a problem with the vendor events um, for sure sadly and I had that issue in my town too because um, I wanted to do the um, they do like a first Friday food truck kind of thing and I missed that someone was already doing that so I'm just keeping my eye on it and hopefully I'll get that window and get to get in there at some point um, and then there's also, there's another event there. Oh, like a farmer's market on Saturdays. And I miss that too. There's already a consultant there. So I'm just keeping my eye on those. But you could do other things like um, maybe create something like a blingo night at nursing homes and you could be the featured vendor for that. Maybe even you could invite a couple other vendors to come and do like maybe a, a, someone who does massages, someone could come and do complimentary massages and you could play the blingo game because we know like seniors love their bingo typically. <laughs> and you could have your um, jewelry and maybe give away because I'm just so big on, you know, not just trying to make a sale all the time, but also giving, you know, um, to others. And so, hi, Colleen. <laughs> um, and so I would probably give all the seniors like a free piece of jewelry and then have jewelry available for them to purchase. So I think that would be neat to do. Um, also, I know some people, I know Janae, she's done a yard sale right in her front yard. <laughs> um, so you could do that too. Or if you live in an apartment community or like a um, community like where we live in, in an actual like, community that has you know like the community center or whatever um maybe you could have something there at the community center and then invite the residents and stuff like that um platinum i just saw your question there colleen so i'll find that out for you um but yeah think about different things that you can do to create your own type of vendor events maybe um i know one lady She's a papa sister. She's not on our team. She's just someone I've met um, through, I think, my YouTube channel. But she um, she actually connected with like this. It's like a club or something like a bar or something like that. And they do like a kind of like an old school night um, once a month, I think. And she just goes and sets up her, her jewelry, actually, on that old school night. And she does very well with that. So just be thinking about different events going on. Notice what churches, different events churches are doing, because a lot of times you could reach out to the church and ask them if you could be a vendor. If it's your church, definitely try to get connected and see if there's something you could do um, as well. 
So those are just some ideas or hook up with some others that you know. Um, what I did is I joined a mom's group here in my town and connected with some other moms and we all just put together like a sip and shop. So there's just different things like that maybe try to do, but I know it can be frustrating. Um, or see if there's maybe a small town kind of close to where you live and maybe do some kind of vendor event there, maybe if it's not straight in your town. Um, so platinum is 25,000 PV. Um, 25,000 PV would be platinum. Um, what have you hit, Colleen? Have you already hit silver and gold? <laughs> um, let me know. All right, so let's see here. You're not far away either, Susan. Yay! I have not been able to get on at all today, Amanda. You haven't been able to get on? Oh, and the app. So, okay, so there is an issue with the app then. You're welcome, Jessica. Uh, Farmer's Market. Yes, you have a meeting. Oh, I'm so excited for you. That's awesome. Little counties. Yes, Colleen, exactly. That's exactly what I'm thinking for sure. And neighborhood yard sales. Okay, that's good. Yeah, see? So those are all really great ideas. Thank you, guys. You do tra trail rides? What is that, Jessica? You need to go live on our team page and tell us what trail rides are. Now I'm curious. Ask if you can set up outside of a bank on a Friday? Ooh, <laughs> that would be neat. I noticed, I mean, Walmart lets people do stuff too. I mean, the Girl Scouts are out there all the time. Maybe think about that. Although, I don't know, they sell jewelry. But hey, they sell cookies too. So who knows? <laughs> You're welcome, Susan. Yes, you guys, great ideas. Hi, Xavria. Hi, Janita. Thank you guys for joining. <laughs> um, real close to gold. Yay, that's awesome, Colleen. I didn't even know that you had hit silver. I think I just knew about the bronze. So congratulations to that. Also, um, I have a couple other shout outs, which I, Sheila Owe. Happy anniversary to you. And I think I missed a couple yesterday. I'm going to post all these on our team page. Kayla Smith, happy anniversary to you as well. Um, I think that's it. I think I got all the other ones. <laughs> all right. So what I also wanted to do, thank you guys for the questions. These are great. Um, it's all kinds of people who ride horses and we Zydeco dance? What? Okay, I gotta I gotta hear more about that. <laughs> I don't know what any of that is, what you're even talking about. <laughs> but I'm curious. It sounds fun. <laughs> so you set up your jewelry there too? That's great. Um, so what I did have pulled up to kind of go over, because you know, I want to give you guys a good little tip and information on top of answering your questions. Um, this is something, it's uh, something that I think Tara did and it's keep your business growing. And I will put this in our files. Um, I think I pulled this out of her files a while back and have been wanting to share this with you guys. So I'm gonna do this with you guys today. Um, so yeah, it's tips to keep your business growing um, because you know, I know as you, like this, like we all have these great ideas. Um, so, you know, you want to implement something, right? And you don't have to do it all. Just kind of think about one thing, maybe one new thing a month. Try something new. Um, you know, like the vendor events, I really wasn't doing too many of those. And that's something new that I've started doing. I'm also going to host a movie night here because we have this great theater room we built upstairs and um, I'm going to invite some of the ladies from that mom's group over and we're going to do a I'm going to give them like a free shopping spree they'll only get to pick like two pieces each for free and it'll only be about eight to ten moms um, and then after that uh, we'll I'll let them shop like they can actually buy jewelry and then we'll do a movie um, and so we're just kind of doing different things in that group each month, different activities. So that's going to be my activity. But um, here's some other little tips for you for keeping your business growing. One is to send out thank you cards. 
Um, so you could send thank you cards to the hostess for having a party if you have a hostess who has a party for you, or you can send a thank you card with um, your order to the customer. I think that's great. And I always want to do that. Like in my heart, I always feel it. Even when I send you guys like the, the gifts for hitting um, Bling Boss and stuff like that, like I always want to do a thank you card just because, or, you know, just a little personal note. But it's just hard, you guys. Like I have, everything is just, I'm spread so thin. It's like I do the best I can do. <laughs> But I think a thank you card would be really, really great. And I mean, I'll write thank you on the outside of the envelope with a heart. <laughs> so that's like me trying to do a thank you card, I guess. But I think that is a very good idea um, to do that. Send those out. And then that way it kind of keeps that connection and all of that going. And she gives some tips on here about doing thank you cards, which um, I like I said, I'll put this in our files so you'll have it. And then another thing is, um, of course, with your shopping group, if you don't have a shopping group to create one, if you have one, maybe revive it, get it going again. I have lots of ideas on how you can revive your shopping group. And sometimes I'll put posts on here for you guys to give you ideas on how you can do that. I see you guys doing a lot of great posts. So as I see them, I like to share them. But um, you know, get your shopping group going and maybe make a schedule for your shopping group so they know what to expect when from you. Um, and let's see. Oh, Kentucky Derby. All right. I just saw that. That would be amazing. Street behind the Kentucky Derby, right? Exactly. Or like if Super Bowl is coming to your town, hey, do a, na a nearby street <laughs> set up. <laughs> Okay, yes, when you do one, you'll go live. Awesome, thank you. <laughs> Hi, Anna, okay, how do you say it? Anna Laura? I hope I said it right. <laughs> thank you for joining. Okay, let's see. Um, so yeah, coming up with a schedule in your group would be great. Um, I have ideas for that, you know, different schedules that you can do. Creating a text list. This is really good. I've been getting emails about this and I don't have this uh, text list, but it's something I can get you more information on if you're interested in it. But you can just ask, you know, if anyone would like to join your uh, VIP text list. And if so, then you can send out a text when you're posting new inventory or when you're going to go live or if you're doing a fun giveaway or game or any of that kind of stuff, you can send out a text. So that would be a good idea, I think. Um, give jewelry as gifts. This is definitely something that I do. And I do it for special occasions, for sure. Also, I'll do it just because I just like to, to do giveaways. And I think that, you know, the more you give, the more you receive. And especially if there's like a charity or something in your town, check into that, you know. Um, just get connected in your community as much as possible. And um, from a selling standpoint, from a volunteering standpoint, especially if you live in a smaller town, I think that really, even like on the Facebook community page, not just posting on there about, you know, wanting to sell your jewelry, but posting on there about just value, you know, saying something nice about a local business, you know, sharing somebody else's business's information, stuff like that. Um, yard sale or yard, sorry, yard signs, putting a sign in your front yard. If any of you guys have a sign in your yard or your car, let me know. I would be curious that to that. I know Paula did on her car. I think Janae did too. Um, but, uh, putting a sign in your yard or maybe on the window of your house. I don't know. I mean, I'm just saying you could do something like that. <laughs> Blingo. I do Blingo when I go live, but I do mine differently. Um, but if anyone wants info on that, I'm happy to share that with you. I have a couple of videos that I posted from my lives on YouTube where I can, where you can see how I did my Blingo, but you can also just, uh, go on YouTube and do a search for Blingo and see other consultants and how they do Blingo, especially if it's in person. Um, that's another thing I want to do is a Blingo night here in my home at some point. Uh, so let's see, capitalize on holidays for sure, like Valentine's Day or Christmas. 
For Mother's Day, you can invite men to shop with you and help them pick out gifts for their wives or their moms or sisters or what have you, or daughters. Um, Thanksgiving, um, you can put your jewelry out during Thanksgiving dinner or give away a piece of jewelry to your guests, stuff like that. Um, just think of fun things you can do. Easter, you could do kind of like an Easter egg hunt and put maybe a piece of bling in some eggs and some eggs not, some just candy, and do a fun Easter egg hunt at a church or something like that. So um, those are things you could do to grow your business. Uh, there's other things here for that and also treating your customers like royalty. I know I saw Colleen talking about that when she went live and you know, I do believe in that, you know, getting the jewelry out as quickly as you can is huge. Um, and I'm going to tell you, like, when my business was the most booming was when I was going live consistently every week. I was posting when I was going to go live. I was um, uh, making sure I got my jewelry out as quickly as possible. All of those things matter. Uh, I was very active in my VIP group and posting in there and doing fun games and contests and all of that. So if you want your business to, to be um, active, you have to be active. If you're kind of sporadic, which I am now with my, my personal bling business, but it is what it is and I'm not going to stress out over it. I'm, I'm happy to, that I'm still keeping the business going and growing, um, but maybe not as consistently as I think you should do. And I see the I see the difference, but that's why I share you guys' lives. <laughs> so it's like, okay, I'm not going live as much. I can't right now, but I'm going to share my team's lives. So that's the benefit of building a, a big team. We have almost 200 people on my team now, and that's the benefit of that, you know? Um, so I can, I can share you guys' lives the same as me going live. And no, I don't make as much, of course, off of your lives, but collectively it adds up. So um, uh, being consistent is extremely important and being active in your business and treating your customers like royalty. I so like that is, that's really the, the secret sauce. <laughs> um, so those are the tips that she has. I will put this in our files and share it with you guys because I think these are really great tips and I didn't hit on all of them, but I did hit on um, some of the more important ones that I wanted to just give you an idea of what that's about. Um, let's see what else. They are everything to us. Amen to that. Yes, yes, yes. Thank Hi, Julie. Thank you for joining. So thank you guys all for joining. If you are still on here, I want you to type your name in the comments right now so that I know you are on here and I'm going to send you guys a free gift. <laughs> So type your name in the comments so that I know you're still here. Thank you so much. I appreciate you joining. I appreciate you contributing and your comments and staying on. Um, you still don't understand Blingo, <laughs> Save here. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll send you the link to mine. You can see how I do it. It's definitely different. And it's when I'm live on Facebook. That's the Blingo that I do. But also on YouTube, I'll find another video because I did share it with someone. Um, so they are out there of how you do blingo in person, um, you know, so that you can do it in person too. I think it would be a lot of fun. So, um, and you can always just give it some thought and kind of make up your own really, you know, of how you want to do it. I think just a little, and Xavier, I know you're a creative person. <laughs> I was supposed to call you X, I forgot, but, um, <laughs> yeah, you, I'm sure you could come up with your own little lingo as well so let's see what else comments here i tried to add you to my vip page and business page but it won't let me really i'll look in my notifications um because i could hi janea thanks for joining i may have it in my notifications so i'll go back and look janea i talked about you uh go back and watch it from the beginning i know i mentioned your name at least a couple times <laughs> x you put it <laughs> You put it there, X. I'm like, I, in my mind, I knew that's what, uh, yeah. There you go. Okay. Um, <laughs> too funny. Janina. Okay, you guys got your names in here. Janita. So we got Jessica. 
We got Janita, X, <laughs> Janaea, Colleen. Perfect. You are so welcome, Colleen. Thank you for being an amazing person. I got to share who the bling boss is, uh, who it is this time um, for February. I'll do it. I'll do that separate. I'm not going to do it on here because I got to get all that together. But thank you for everything that you do as well. Love you guys so much. And I will talk to you guys later. If you have any other questions or comments, make sure that you put, um, look on our team page. I think I have it in the announcements. Um, I'm going to do another video where I show you guys, I'm going to walk through our team page again. I did that a while back, but I'm going to do it again. Um, and there's also some learning units that I can create for our team page. So I'm going to do that. I think that'll make it easy when we sign a new consultant up that they can just go through the learning units. So that's something else I'm going to do one of these days. But, um, but if you look in the announcements section of our team page, I have in there, ask Tanya, I think it is. If you ever have questions, just pop them in there. And sometimes I'll go live and answer your question or just do a quick video and post it in there of an answer to your question. Or I might just type it in the comments. But let me know if you need anything. Or just inbox me like a lot of you do anyway. <laughs> and I will get right back to you guys. So, all right, I'll let you get back to your night. Thank you guys for hopping on. I appreciate you all. Have a great night. Bye. God bless.